Friends, we are gathered together in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Claire and Patrick in Christian marriage. The covenant of marriage was established by God. With his presence and power, Jesus graced a wedding at Cana of Galilee, and in his sacrificial love gave us an example for the love shared in marriage. Patrick and Claire come to give themselves to one another in this holy covenant. Let us pray. Gracious God, always faithful in your love for us, we rejoice in your presence. You create love. You unite us in one human family. You offer your word and lead us in light. You open your loving arms and embrace us with strength. May the presence of Christ fill our hearts with new joy and make new the lives of your servant who we celebrate their marriage this day. Bless all creation through this sign of your love, shown in the love of Patrick and Claire for each other. May the power of your Holy Spirit sustain them and all of us in love that knows no end. Amen. You may be seated. Call for Aaron. Time we'll all share scripture that reflects God's grace, declare, and defend. First reading comes from Genesis chapter 2. God said, It's good for the man to be alone. It's not good for the man to be alone. I will make it like suitable for him. Now the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the wild animals and all the birds of the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was his name. So the man gave names to all the livestock, the birds in the sky, and all the wild animals. But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and then closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib who had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. The man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. <coughs> she shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united to his wife, and they become one flesh. The second reading is from Romans chapter 12. Love in action. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor, serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. The third reading is from Ephesians chapter 5, Instructions for Christian Households. Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives, submit yourselves to your own husbands as you do to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church, his body of which he is the Savior. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives will submit to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives. Just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word, and to represent her to himself as a radiant church, without stain or wrinkle, or without any other blemish, but holy and blameless. In this same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own lives. He who loves his wife loves himself. After all, no one ever hated their own body, but they feed and care for their body, just as Christ does the church. For we are members of his body. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. This is a profound mystery, but I am talking about Christ and the church. However, each one of you must also love his wife as he loves himself, and the wife must respect her husband. 